Hey, what is up, all you lonely watchers out there? It's Lonely Fubuki back with another Yokai Watch Arc video, and today we're going to be looking at the fifth series of deluxe Yokai Arcs. This one being this the Kenshin Amatsura and Yamaba slash Gensin uh, Tsukiyomi Yokai Arc set. This comes with two Godside Yokai Arcs. Uh, this is available for version 2, you know, you could buy this, um, late, this was, uh, released later on in the line, uh, even though these are old arcs and they do work under version 2, um, they were originally part of the second box of Zero Yokai arcs, uh, but they, you know, that ended up being problematic because they were different shapes than the normal Yokai arcs, so you could feel if there was a Godside arc in there and people would be, like, stealing them out and that was a big problem. So they decided to release it like this later on out online, you know, not thinking of that originally. Uh, so, I'll look at it, like at the end, we have um, the god sides of both the yokai here. We don't have their light signs really. Uh, uh, Kenshin doesn't really have one, but uh, Gisu does, uh, I mean, uh, Gishin does, uh, it's Yamamba. I don't know what exactly that's about, we'll see in a minute. Then of course the name of the set, the Bandai logo stuff, the beautiful artwork. Saying it, the games it works in on the side, just another copy of the same lovely artwork. Uh, then, of course, the back and the warnings and stuff, and on the back we can see um, some more reiteration of what it was on the front about what it's compatible with, the, the, the Yokai Watch Elder, and that both are five star ultra rare arcs. Uh, which means they can be used in the Yokai Watch games on Nintendo Switch every single day and PS4. Uh, again, this side is the same as the other. And then, yeah, that's pretty much it. Except for there's some different artwork there on the top. Uh, so, this is gonna be pretty much like all the other videos, except uh, we never did God Side. There were the other ones were Deluxe K arcs. We did like. Uh, Jashin Kachikachi and Madeo, then the, the two Jewel Generals, uh, was there, um, Black Dianyana, Ruby Sharkama, but we've never done something like this before. So, this one, um, I got it, I got the film right away, so luckily there will be an unboxing portion, as we're seeing here. And here's the minimalist packaging that we all love Bandai for. So, let's get it out of the bubble wrap. Ah, uh, here we go. Both of the the, the great looking arcs here. Uh, let's open. Let's open this one first because I think this is Keshin. Uh, yes, this is this is Keshin. We'll see. We'll see. We'll look at that closer in a minute. Uh, but then here's the. The light side, which this, because he doesn't really have one, so it looks more like a... Uh, we, uh, yeah, we'll look at that later. And then, of course, uh, Geshin Tsukiyuma, or Yamamba. Ah, then, this is a weird and nice shape. And then the other side was Yamamba. Okay, let's get a closer look at these now. First of all, we have the one here. Uh, fix that a bit. There we go. That is the artwork for um, Geshin Tsukiyuma. Nice. And that is like the other arcs, it runs all the way up to the one. Except, as opposed to other arcs, it's like a more roundish shape. Uh, the only other arc outside arc that had a different shape before this was Gunsu Susanoa. I believe, and that was pretty much it. And then the other Godside arcs were, um, you know, normal shaped. But yeah, and I like this jewel here. Again, more round shape going up. And then let's look at the light side. Or Yamamba, as we can see, you know, from the movie, she was the light side version of uh, Kesen Tsukiyumo. Yeah, and she's in Yo She's. I'm pretty sure she can take the God side form in Yokai Watch 4 as well. I don't have. I didn't unlock her God side version yet, but I'm working on it. 
then the other arc. Uh, this one, of course, uh, Kenshin Amatsuro. Uh, this this kind of reminds me of like the light side. It kind of reminds me of like the uh, what's it called? The back of the Yosei Ken with like a special design on it. It seemed that's what it kind of reminded me of. Uh, and as we can see, I like the, like the grommets here around it, and of course the jewel here, and the thing for it to hook through. You know, if you want to put it on your arc holders. But yeah, it's just a piece of artwork because you don't really have a light side. And then, of course, the god side. I really like his design here. And then, of course, the artwork runs all the way up, but it doesn't really add much. <laughs> it looks like... So a nice, it's a nice orange look, which I really like. Uh, now we should probably summon these in the Yokai Watch Elder Sheen or Elder God. So uh, I made sure it was on the right ver. Well, it's always on at least version two for me, but I put it on version five just in case. Um, but it does, it does work on version two. Once we upgrade it from the Elder K to the Elder God, let's summon Yamamba. And then, of course, the god side, Geshin uh, Tsukiyomi. Like this. Right, insert that, and let's do this. Kind of anticlimactic, but uh, yeah, uh, there is a uh, Geshin Tsukiyomi. And now let's try. I'm very curious to see what Keshin Amaratsu's light side is. Oh, it just does the, like a god side sound. That's cool. Now, of course, we have to summon god side. Keshin Amritsu. There, great. Again, some pretty cool looking arcs we got here uh, in the set. Uh, but not only that, but they are ultra rare arcs that can be scanned in Yokai Watch 4 every day. So let's test them out in Yokai Watch 4, shall we? See if they give us anything special. Like Jashin Kachikachi uh, gives us his armor. Uh, same thing with Enma Dayo, he gives us his robe that we can use in the game that, you know. So let's see if anything special is given from these yokai. Okay, now I know we do. We have good only once a day. You know all that nonsense. Um, Geshin Tsukiyomi.
Okay. Looks like standard stuff. I'm assuming Kishin Amaratsu might give us something more special. And... I think that might be a charm, it looks like. If anybody can let me know what it does. But, oh, we, so we did get something special from, 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 uh, Yam, uh, from Geshen. So if anybody knows what that does, make sure to let me know. Maybe it even does something special when I quick, equipped to, to Geshen, who knows. Right, yes. Now, of course, the main star of the show, Geshen Amoretsu. Okay, normal looking stuff. And then... Oh, is that his weapon? Interesting. We got his, again, like, like Enma Dayo and Jaijin Gachikachi do. Oh, and of course Susan did as well, I believe. They give their special weapon, that's cool. That is a great idea. So. Yeah. Overall, I'd rate this set pretty good. Uh, I got it for like $20, which I'd say is good for two um, Godside arcs, because these are very valuable, especially in your goal to 100% this game. You know, ultra rare arcs always help you out a ton. So it's great to have two more to add to my collection. Uh, that's going to be it for this video. If you like it, make sure to like and subscribe, uh, turn on the post notifications. Uh, we also have merch, so make sure if you're interested in that, make sure to go buy it down below. Or if you just want to support me, there's a donation link. And of course, the Discord server is one of my proudest feeds, even more than this channel in some ways. Uh, so make sure to join that if you're interested. Uh, wrapping that up, I will see you guys next week. Bye-bye, my lonely watchers.